Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We're going to play this game down here called Doors of Insanity, but first I just kind of wanted to plug Game Round. I've mentioned them a lot on my, my channel recently. I think they're great. They have a great community and a good platform. If you are interested, um, then just continue watching. If you're not, then please skip ahead and we can play some Doors of Insanity, but... So basically, GameRound.co, the website up here, this is their website. Um, you come here, these are up-and-coming games. And so right now, these are the four games that are being um, playtested. You can go to this website. They have their own platform, their own distribution platform. Um, it's right here. And these are, it's just, it's almost like a Steam, like a Steam light kind of. But um, these are all the games that are up right now. You can see that they correspond uh, to the games in the background here on the webpage. And then uh, you have a library. These are all the ones, and you can just you can install games from right here. Um, and if not, then you can go onto the website and you can get keys uh, from the website that you can use on Steam. And so we have right here um, testing. These are the games that are testing. Uh, these four, and then they have surveys. And so basically, what you do is you go download the game, you play it, you get a good feel for it, and then you go. Um, it's like right here. You go to visit. And then you go to review, and they have a whole um, like survey right here. So you can see, uh, this is my favorite game, <laughs> but uh, that's why it's all fives. But um, you can see how it works. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And then you can leave a review. Um, if you leave a good enough review, like not like it has to be perfectly uh, perfect grammar and stuff, but if it's a good review and it's thorough and like you actually help the developers um, develop their game, then you get entered into a drawing. And um, let's see. You know, I've never like looked at the next things that are coming up, but I do know uh, the next thing that's coming up. Um, they're giving out two Switch lights. Um, it's the uh, the Nintendo Switch, and then uh, before that, they gave out um, oh shoot, it was a Radeon thirty something, a really great graphics card, and then um, they also gave out some twenty dollars Steam gift cards. I won one of those, and. See, they have a bunch of streamers here. You can check it out. And then before that, they gave out um, some uh, some Discord Nitro uh, memberships, which I, I won that. And then um, that plus the Xbox Game Pass for PC. So I won that, and I've been able to play a lot of games um, on the Xbox Pass um, j just from that. So really cool system they have. Um, it's not hard to leave reviews. It's super easy to use, all this stuff. And on top of this, um, it's not just a faceless um, website that you interface with. You go here, and then you can see um, they have they have a huge Discord server. You can see all the users on the right side, and then they categorize them. So you go there, you choose your role. I'm a content creator, so I'm in this purple section. A ton of content creators. And then you can see right here, these are people, um, well, just other, other groups, right? Anyway, uh, and then on the left side, you can see uh, right here that um, it's international. They have a lot of different language supports, different communities in here. Um, and so these people are speaking their respective languages. I don't speak anything but English, so I don't know what they're saying. But um, also up here, you have these are um, these are channels in the server for. Oh, you can see that they responded to me right here. But um, these are channels in the server, and there's one one channel for each game that's being tested. So that way you can interact directly with other people who are playing it. So if it's a multiplayer game, then you can find people to play with. They also have a looking for group. I mean, there's just, it's a really solid, a well-rounded platform that they have. And so if you were looking to uh, play games for free that aren't that aren't released yet, maybe give your input and then uh, win some prizes along the way. This is how, this is how you do it. This is where you go. Uh, whoops, wrong, wrong one. I meant this one, uh, Game Round. So anyway, it's GameRound.co. Let's get into Doors of Insanity. Hold, please. Okay, and we're here. So I just used the Game Round launcher. Um, just hit the play button, and it brought up the game. That's how it works. Simple as that. But um, let's get into this. So let's customize. It says right here you can visit character customization for new faces. So I've, I have played this game uh, quite a bit. I really enjoy it. And so as you play the game a lot... You unlock all these different faces. I think I only started with six. Um, let's. I like this guy a lot. Let's go with this one, and then we're gonna go super duper green. Um, maybe blue. Oh yeah, there it is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So that's our customization options. And I'm I'm gonna play this until I die. I I think we can probably get. Um, all the way to the last boss, the Sanctuary boss, and probably beat him. Um, 
And so these are all the kind of like, this is the leveling system. This is the equivalent. So as you play through the game, um, you, you know, you get crystals and you gain levels. And then, so you come here to the crystal shop to buy these items and you don't get these items. You unlock them, um, to be purchasable or winnable in the game. So that's how that works. Um, these ones are always in effect. Um... Yeah, you can check that out. But then here's our character grower. And this is kind of like probably more familiar to most people who have played any kind of game with an R RPG um, aspect or um, components to it. So I have maxed this out. Um, all of my offensive cards deal 30% more damage. And then I liked this one a lot. So I started doing this, the defense um, four. I start, this is my first one I got. Um, I regret it. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. So let's go back here. So these, um, these are the cards we have available to us. These three. These are the base of your deck. And so, I mean, you can, you can read them. Um, I'm not going to get into it. But um, this is the one. This is, this is the golden ticket. This is the golden ticket. <laughs> right? But um, so this is the card that I decided to keep from my last run. And so this is kind of like it's, a, it's an Iron Man style game, gameplay where you go through and you play until you die. And then once you die, you start over. Um, a lot of replayability, though, with all the random variables that happen throughout the game. So anyway, this game is a killer. This is a really good card. Um, super awesome. So this is how I this is how I build my deck usually. Um, so I just do all four, and then you can see we have six spots left. So guess how many cards I'm gonna do of each one? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Um, it's a pretty well balanced base to a deck, and that's just what I like. Um, I'm gonna start it on default. I've been doing it on big boy, and man, it's it gets tight. It gets tight with health. It's very challenging. I really want to get all the way to the last boss so we can have a look um, over here. So, oh, let me back up a little bit. So, in that, um, the crystal shop that I was in, there were those two things in the middle that had the red stripe over them with the word sold. Um, and so this is one of those things, um, where that, that old woman was holding the globes, um, that was the other one. So, um, they're represented right here in the very beginning of our playthrough. So, this is the, the goddess door, or the, whatever these are, I don't know what you want to call them, but this is an upgrade. So anyway, right here, we have, um, Mad Lad Balahar. And he gives us offensive bonuses, um, either a random card, attack plus one, or like crit plus, plus ten, something like that. Uh, Bale, this is the like uh, merchant. He gives you money. Um, he gives you an artifact that gives you bonuses to uh, merchant prices. Well, just not bonuses. They're just reduced merchant prices. And shoot, I forget what the third one is. Anyway, we're going to go here. We're going to try to stack defense. I find that once I get to 30 defense in the end fight, it is pretty good. So... It seems pretty lame. It's just plus one defense, but um, man, once you get over thirty, it, it's it's kind of like a tipping point. And so um, up here in settings, I've got fast mode enabled. It's gonna quicken up, um, speed up all of the animations and all that kind of stuff, all the in between things. And so I think for this, I'm gonna choose either the middle door, and if there's no middle, I'll choose the right door. I don't know why. I just it just makes it. Um, just follow a, a steadfast set of rules. So right now, um, I'm not going to do a lot of commentary and explanation on this, but um, protection card, 20 absorb, gives us a shield, um, so then it'll absorb all the 17 damage. Um, power gives us attack boost. And then a slash is a basic attack, right? So uh, simple as that. So I'm going to use um, protection just because I don't... I want to get hit as little as possible. I want to conserve as much health for the end. You can see how quickly everything kind of happens here. Um, and we have a five. These are our dice, so they we can have up to five dice normally, six with bonuses, and they they re-roll every turn. But like I'll use this one right now, and then um, I'll get one per turn. But anyway, so here's that card I was talking about. Um, we're gonna do protection, and we don't need actually we don't even need protection, do we? No, <laughs> just one hit, and that bat's dead. You can see right here we get gold every match that we fight, depending on the difficulty of the enemies. We get to pick cards. We get crystals for every fight. There's all kinds of stuff going on. But um, anyway, I like I like a wish list a lot. It's a it's a free to play or a, a free card. It costs zero mana, and it's a 25 absorb, which is which is decent. It's a solid absorb amount. So we'll use it right now. And 25, that's exactly enough to block those two attacks. And 
Yep. Yep. And so he has 15 left. We'll just we'll deal with it. Uh, we're pretty, you know. Oh, he got 10 damage through. What is that about? But um, you'll you'll see. Oh shoot! Here, yeah, we need that one. And power, power, power. So our attack power is now plus 60 percent. Now we do 52 instead of like 39. It helps a lot. So I attacked him because I didn't want to waste all that extra damage. And then uh, right here, our dice are doubled. So there's he has three uh, hit points left. We'll use two. It'll turn into four damage. And he's gone. And now we have 20 shields, which should block the 18 damage. But some got through last time, and I don't like that. So I'm just going to stack up a little bit more. We'll get it on the next one anyway. Slash. Done. We got a crit. Um... I like this a lot. I like, um, I, I used to play Magic the Gathering, and I, I, I hated playing against blue players because they had all that manipulation of the deck. Um, but that's that's kind of how I like to play here. Oh, that's right, I got a shield. So that's automatically equipped. You can see we have really base equipment right now. Um, middle door, like I said, these are all random events. Believe it or not, that's what the question mark and the word random means. The Bat Whispers. What is this madness? A cave full of bats? Shall I fight my way through them or take the long road? Um, yeah, we're gonna fight bats. Bats are pretty easy. We get some stuff from it. Um, let's see here. So, it's a lot of damage stacked up right there, though. That's not good. That's okay. So, we have four mana left and one, two, three, four, five mana required. So, we're gonna do this. That one. We'll use that. Oh, nice. We got a little absorb there. And then, um, nice... Nice basic attack there, and 45, um, not enough. It's okay, there's only a one on the die right now. Not, it wouldn't be a very good use of it. Took three damage, no big deal. So this is just gonna be that, that kind of thing where, oh, 36 damage, so we're gonna use power, protection, and we're just gonna slash and take that guy out. So we have 20, we're gonna need these. Not great rolls, but I, I like I said, I want to conserve as much health as possible. Four damage. And let's see here. Power. Power. Oh, so these are mana costs right here. Um, this is our mana down here. I just used the card that gave us more. This is our health over here, obviously. This is our draw pile and um, discard pile. Yeah, those numbers don't look right, but that's my understanding of it. Anyway, um, let's go here. We use protection. We have four left. I'm going to slash. Hopefully get this... Oh, yeah, easily get that guy down. I'm looking at the numbers. Yeah, we can't take him out with dice. So, best defense is a good offense, right? Let's use power. I always like to stack power. Look at that. We're at plus 75% uh, attack right now. Which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I like I like free cards. Okay, and so here are our options. They're all about the same, right? Um, I'm gonna stack defense, so that's my priority: defense and attack over uh, HP or. Attack on the weapon, the equivalent would be crit. So, that is the highest defense. That's just kind of what I'm going to go for. Automatically equip that one. If there's no middle duel, we're going for the right. Oh, uh, yeah. Give me that HP. 5 HP healed by eating the red apple. So, these are chests. It seems like um, one of them is usually that thing. <laughs> the mouth where it does damage to you. It's like, nah, uh, uh, you got greedy. You already opened two. You have some good options, but you had to open the third one. Middle door. Room six. I think it's like 36 rooms total, so uh, go get yourself a drink or whatever you gotta do and sit, sit back and relax. Um, let's see here. So 17 damage. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. We're gonna slash. Slash. Ooh. Oh, shoot. That would have been nice to have gotten that one at the beginning of that turn. That's okay. Um, power. Power. Protection. Um, this is a good rule. A six is a good rule. So um, I like to use them. When they're fives or sixes, I like to use them because, well, I mean, it's, it's a good roll. And 
See, so I don't I don't need to look at anything else. Just slash and he's done. I love the rainbow radial. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, like before with the um, the blue cards. This is kind of like a blue card to me. If you ever played Magic the Gathering, uh, you know what I'm talking about. If not, then uh, the reference is lost. <laughs> I always like to go for the elite doors too, if I can. It's more of a challenge, um, and then you get you get way better stuff. Nice. So we got this card to begin with. We're gonna go ahead and use it. We'll get uh, protection up right now. So he's going to attack for 2 times 11, 22. We got that covered with our shield. I'm going to use power, power, slash, slash, and then again, fives and sixes. I like to use them. But what the heck, we'll even throw in the four. Good, good. So this is his. what he's going to do. He's going to get uh, plus 20% to his attack permanently. So that's like ours over here. Um, these little things, these power cards that I keep using. But um, it's permanent, so that's the difference. Anyway, so we use that one. Draw us a card. It wasn't an offensive card, which is unfortunate, but um, that's what it is. I'm going to use this just in case that little ability does a little damage. It did not. Um, still not wasted, though. So power. Again, power. He has 71 health. We can do 63. Mm, let's go ahead and draw some cards here. No. Nope. So, oh, that was, yeah, we're done. Cool. I like this one a lot. I like inexpensive cards. Inexpensive, powerful cards. Who doesn't like the best fang, bang for their buck? The red is basically what I'm saying there. I'm going to choose this one. It has the best defense. And it's an upgrade in both categories. Um, yep, that one. Extra crit. Take the elite door, yes, please. And so the artifact um, selection, that's part of taking on these elite enemies. You get the artifacts. They're they're really handy. By the end, I'll probably have um, six or seven of them. They stack up. So let's use power. We're going to draw some more cards. And then what's he going to do? Seven times two. So he'll do 14 damage. I would like to, again, um, play conservatively when it's fitting. Draw a card. And Frenzy. Boom. Okay. And turn. Oh, there she is. On top of the world. Let's see here. So we have wish list. We'll use that. 57 damage. 57. Look at all these good dice rolls over here. And, okay, 8 times 2, so 16 damage. That'll cover it. We get some power. We we'll do that to draw a card, which I, I really like. Oh, we didn't need to. It goes by so fast. Um, I forget to watch their health sometimes. We'll take Real Frenzy again. Ooh, okay. This is a tough choice. Um, this is one thing that I haven't brought up. Um, so on the game round Discord, like um, you know, you can develop a rapport with the developers, and like you know, you just like I've given them a little bit of input, and I think they've watched some videos, and hopefully it's helped, you know. And so this is one of those things where a suggestion would be to have like an inventory button right here, so that way I can see like, okay, so how much better is this one than what I'm wearing versus how much better this one is versus what I'm holding? You know what I mean? Maybe it's um, part of the difficulty of the game. I don't know, but just based on numbers here, this one's 3 and 5. This one's 3 and 10, so we're going for that. Um, attack plus 2. We're just going to just try to stack those those base stats. So let's go to our inventory, and we'll check out our equipment. We have some new stuff here. Yep, 3 and 10. Usually, they're pretty incremental increases of, like, 1 defense or attack, and maybe, like, 2 um, or 3 HP or crit chance, but... So here we have a witch. We can go in there and we can um, switch out a card of our choosing for a random reward, which might not be better than the card that we're giving up. Um, the well will restore um, HP, or there's just a normal encounter right there. Um, let's look here. Let's look at our deck and see if we can use the witch to our advantage. Are there any cards that are just not really pulling their weight? Um, not really, right? It's, it's pretty early in the game and just not the case. You know, let's just go to normal. Let's let's get in an extra fight and see if we can get some more rewards out of it. Ooh, here we go. 
Okay, so we're looking at 30 damage right off the bat. So we're going to um, use power and draw some cards. Get wish list. Um, yep, use this. That should cover all three of those attacks. And then... Yes, this will be... Oh, shoot. I'd rather do this. So I was going to use power and slash and slash. Instead, I'm going to use fire wave and slash and slash. Fire wave does damage to everyone. And now this is better, right? And then it also draws a card. This is better than a slash. And it... um. Well, it costs the same. <laughs> so as far as like mana balance, it works out. So we can still... Oh, see, there we go. Best defense is a strong offense. So in turn, I think we're fine there with our shield. And uh, we'll use wish list because we can. And then we're going to use on top of the world's uh, power. And um, I'm pretty sure... Well, I don't think we can win it right here. But we're going to try. Nope. <laughs> Look at that one HP. Come on, you got to be kidding me. You should have, like, a thing, like, every, like, six doors. You can just, like, send your devil over there and fart in their face, and then it kills them. Let's just use a die. Okay, this, um, interesting choices here. Not a big fan of any of these cards, frankly. Absorb 18 damage. Get one die. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how many defensive cards we have you know and we can also just skip it let's do it i'm just gonna skip it because i don't need an extra card that um you know i'm not a big fan of so we're gonna go with this because of the defensive upgrade go up here to we're at the first boss fight right here and yeah we'll equip that oh <laughs> they both look silly okay <laughs> That's what I love about this game. It doesn't take itself too seriously. You know, like, it. it I think it has, like, um, enough... Let's see. Oh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. It's got enough uh, great quality that, that it could take itself a little bit more seriously, but I'm really glad that it doesn't because it allows me to lot, laugh a lot more and have, have a lot of fun. Anyway, let's do this. Power. And then we'll do that. Um, I don't want to use Wishlist here because we're only looking at five damage. Wishlist is consumed, so that card will go away. I'd rather have that available um, for when it's, well, it's when it's necessary. So we have four more. I think we're going to take that five damage just so we can put in some more damage before he summons that 20 shield. So that's that and that one. And what the heck, we'll block two of it. Ooh, this is interesting. So 8 times 2, that's 16 damage. We can't have that. However, we can do this. So check this out. This Real Frenzy, uh, gain 1 power. So this is a combination of this card and this card. Um, it does more damage than this card uh, and costs 1 less than doing the combo. So that's why I have these cards. Boom! And it's consumed. I guess that's the downside, right? But um, still a great card. Oh, we got a we got a fragile, so we receive fifty percent more damage. Lasts for two turns. He's gonna do twenty six damage to us. We're gonna use that. Um, we will use this. That's why I wanted to keep that. And then we're gonna use a, th a three. Give us six. That'll put us at thirty one. That might counter the fragile, so we get extra damage. I'm not sure if this number is including the fragile or if uh, the fragile is gonna add on to it. Anyway, um, let's get some power. I think we'll have enough here to play one more shield. Yes, we will. And like I said, I like to play the sixes and fives when it presents itself as an opportunity. Um, power. Power. Only one times three damage. That's not not that impressive, Mr. Boss Man. So we have enough to just do what we need to here. Uh, one times three. So we don't even need that. Play the six, and we're going to keep the four. Seven damage, and it's going to summon a 20, 20 power shield. So let's get some power stacking here. we at 120% extra attack, which is good. I'm not sure if it warrants playing another one right now. So 91 crit, that was pretty good. And I'm glad we kept that extra 
mana from the power because we might be able to finish this off right here. Sure enough. Hmm. Add five dice, all sixes. It's a great card. It's really good in, like, you know, in it's clutch. It can be clutch. All sixes. However, it costs four mana. Not into it. Um, this one, 45 damage, double enemy tar or target enemies debuffs. Cost five mana. You only start with six. Um, so I've just I I don't play these cards. I mean I have used them before, and that's why I don't play them again because it's just not my thing. I don't like this because it's a it's a long haul to the end boss. So we're gonna skip these cards too. What I mean is that it's a long haul to the end boss, and so I just you know any kind of um. Life preservation is important to me. Attack plus five. Yeah, these are... That's like the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> We're going to do uh, Nam Nam's Jam. This is actually kind of tough. I think this one's pretty good. It's ordinary. It's... Yeah, Nam Nam's. Okay. So this is the next area. You can see at the top, the dungeon. The last one was the garden, the, the first area. We're going to switch over to Big Boy. The, there are three areas. There's Garden, and then Dungeon, and then Sanctuary. So we have a good amount of coin here, 352. We're going to go to the Merchant and see what we can buy. So what I'm looking at here, my eyes always go here first to the artifacts because they are uh, passive, constant abilities. And like you, so like they don't get replaced. They always stay there. You always get them, and they stack. Um... This one's pretty good. Deals um, 20 damage to everything right away. All right off the bat. I like it. We're doing it. So we have $81 left. Um, slice and dice is really good. The items. Um, so I'm, I'm going for a one-hander. This is a two-hander. This one's a two-hander. And then I'm going for uh, shields also. But I think I'd rather have some good cards. We're gonna do fire wave. Let's see here. Yeah, fire wave, and we have 51 gold left. And crazy jump. I also like slice and dice a lot, but um, yeah, I, I just I don't know why I made the decision between that, but I did. And so now we're gonna move on. Let's go ahead. Let's heal up. I'm not seeing a lot of opportunities to heal. This is way overkill for how many HP we're missing. But, um... I don't think the rewards from one normal encounter is really going to make make or break it. Worship me. You hear chanting in the distance. As you approach, you see a mythical being being summoned in the fire. Its name is... Nokogiri. He looks directly at you and screams in a highly pitched voice, Worship me! Okay. Take 10 damage. I really want to see what that card is. We're doing it. Took some damage. I'm glad we healed up in that last one because it's kind of a wash. Let's check out what that card is. His Wrath right here. Deal 28 damage. Take 1 damage. That sucks. <laughs> that wasn't worth taking. It's all right. Those random encounters, that's that's what you get. It's totally random. They're not always in your favor. Sometimes they're incredibly in your favor. Um, it's Doors of Insanity, right? It's not It's not Doors of Pleasant Contentness where you get everything you want. <laughs> okay, so we have some good, some good cards here. We're going to use this one first because it will give us one power. These guys are not doing damage right away, so I'm not, not worried about... Shoot. Okay. Not worried about um, uh, protection right now. 37 damage to all. We're going to do that one. Boom. Yeah, see that? Looks pretty good, right? Boom. Can we do it? No, we can't. That's where I have the devil fart. I wish I had that. And just one slash. Get it over with. Um, This one... Really spotty. I, I like the idea of it. That 10% does not seem like 10%, though. It seems like 4%. So we're going to skip these cards. Yep. 
and ooh. Okay, nah, not great. They're both two-handers. Um, not interested in those at all. This is a slight upgrade over our shields. Not an upgrade in defense, but um, we'll get a little bit more HP out of it. Health points. And those gloves. And again, we're choosing the middle door, and if that's not an option, we're choosing the right door. I may forget a handful of times <laughs> in this playthrough. That's okay. Please forgive me. So we're looking at 23 damage, and he's going to add... Um, it's going to be bad. So we're going to use wish list right here, right off the bat. I kind of want to get a strong... Well, try to get a strong uh, start here. So then, so who has the least amount of hit points? That's usually what I look for. The dog. We're going to get him and... It's a six. That's what I'm sighing about. It's a six. Yeah, we're doing it. I kind of wanted to keep it to be conservative more. Oh, he applied fragile, and then it changed the damage amounts. Bummer. We got a six again. We're looking at a lot more damage this turn, aren't we? We're just we're going to take some damage here, so we're going to use a six for our shields. Cast protection. Um, so what do we want to do here? Fifty damage take one damage. What if we go like this? So one, two, three. Now can't do it. Oh, we can use this one though. My favorite card. Awesome. And this one does one extra damage. So we can drag the card up to the dog. Kill it. We get two extra, ma or two extra mana from Nam Nam's Jam. Killing an enemy gives you two mana, which is really nice. Kind of came in the clutch there. Um, deal 57... And slash 50. Not going to finish it off, though, is it? Shoot. Yeah, we're still going to do it, though. Nice. So, power, draw cards. What can we do here? We have two fire waves. We have this. This is where I, what I meant about the, the blue type of uh, play style here. We have 121 down there. So, I'm going to use this on him. And this should... Yeah, we're done. Hmm. Not great. Not great. I don't like variable cards like this. That's too much variation for me. Um, this one uses 10 gold, but um, we get a little bit of heals out of it, and it's kind of a... It's good to use or be able to use other resources when we need to, right? We're going to go Dad's Hammer on this one. There was an upgrade to defense with those gloves, but um, yeah, we're going with this instead because, I mean, big difference here, right? 4% crit added. We're at 11 right now. It's on the left side. We're going to go with the Elite. Unless I'm at, like, 100 health or 50 health, I will pretty much always go for the Elite. I'm going to do 26 damage here, so we will need... Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This card right here, deal 35 damage to all. If card to the left is an offense card, deal 50% more damage. So look, there's an offensive card right there, and we can use this one. And so now this one uh, procs, it gets the 50% extra. Um, but first, we are going to use Frenzy to get the extra power. And then we're going to actually use a power card, which I should have used first, but oh well. And now we're going to use this. Boom! And this. And... Okay, so here's our plot armor. We have $74 uh, dollars right now. We're just going to use that. Just because. Give us a little bit of heals, too. And then we will use wish lists and a 6 on him. Wishlist, just because sometimes the, the, the numbers, they don't, they don't add up. They don't... They, the, the effect that happens from what the numbers say isn't always what the numbers say, if that's what, if that makes sense. Okay, so 26 damage again. We're going to use a wish list and a die. And then we're going to use power slash. Ah, I didn't play that one very well because we could have used protection. We have extra mana. That's okay. Okay, so we don't have to worry about defense on this one. Three and... Oh, shoot. I think we'll be able to get him next turn. Um, 79 damage. Take one damage. That's pretty good. Yep. 
And yep. And this is why you go for the elites. Um, I don't really use summons anymore. I used to like them a lot. Unless they're super powerful ones, um, I don't really don't gravitate toward them at all. Um, so next turn, this one's really good. This one's also really good. In one mana. I like this one. It gives me the option. I can kind of stage up to the next. Ooh, look at this. Four and seven. I can kind of pre prepare myself for the next turn. Uh, defense. Yep, just stacking that defense. Here's where we're at right now. Actually, let's equip. Did we equip anything? Two. Nope. Okay, so there's that. Um, our attack is nine, but our defense is 20, which is huge for this early in the game. Again, we're, we're going for uh, right around 30. Like 28, 31, something like that. So he's going to cast a shield. He's not doing any damage. We're going to be on top of the world for a second here. Um, and it's tempting. Tempting here to use uh, Way of Cain, but try getting as much damage as I can right now. 116 crit. That's not bad. Not bad. So we have six more mana. We have three cards um, that do damage right now. And we've got a five. And no, I'm not going to get greedy. <laughs> I was going to use the two fours, but that's that's just getting cocky, isn't it? All right, so um, yeah, this is it. Oh, no, it's not what happened. I thought that was going to do a lot more damage. Okay, bummer. So we use power and power and protection just because. And then we'll use a six. That should be it right here. Um, 35 and 35. Not a big fan of any of these. Um, like these two are, are definitely no. Just not into it. Super hit. I don't know. That seems... Good, but we're doing pretty well so far. I'm going to skip all these cards and just um, kind of stick with what we got. If you play collectible card games that have um, like a deck limit, then um, you probably know it's kind of important to keep your, your deck size as small as possible so you can efficiently um, and frequently get the cards that are good, the ones that you've selected. I don't think we'll be able to get very much for 169, but let's see if we can get some... Um, Where's the Easy Slash? It's an attack... That costs zero. No. Maybe they removed that card from the game. I don't know. Uh, I'm surprised that we haven't seen any yet. I like this one. I like the Holy Band-Aid. We are five gold short. Real bummer. Oh, and that's what it does. It restores um, five HP at the end of every combat. It's not amazing, but it really adds up when you consider there are like 36 doors and we're at... I don't know what number we're at, but um, let's see what else we have here. Looking at, at the items up here. This is a one-hander, five attack. Less crit, though. I really do like crit. I like the crit. I think um, the weapon that we have has five, the scale axe, whatever it's called. So, yeah, as I suspected, um, not, not really a lot of opportunities here. We're going to move on. Oop, always going to take the elite door. I know I said middle or the right door, if there's no middle door. But, yeah, the elite door. Just look at these artifacts stacking up. Okay, so one times three spawns Suicide Bomber. Um, so it's going to spawn spawn a, an ally, then also do three damage. Um, so here. 116, that's a good hit right there, boy. Okay, we're going to go like this. Um, oh, boy. Protection, 54, take one damage. Let's see here. No, we're going to use a die. Like that. And then I want to see if this one damage will be taken out of the shield. Yep. Nice. And then 48. Okay. Um, you can see that he summoned this guy. <laughs> I'm a psychopath. 
you can see right here that uh, so we're on the, the next level higher difficulty and his attack is a lot weaker and um, I'm pretty sure it's just because our defense is so high but let's go ahead and use um, use these cards so we can be more offensive way of Kane I think we'll need it or it'll be really helpful next turn we'll kind of set ourselves up let's use this and yep nice that's perfect and then um, slash right there and we're gonna just use our, our these two dice up just like that let's see so 45 right now 146 oh that's right wave cane <laughs> I was like holy cow well gee willikers okay let's let's use the wave no let's use power first then the wave and then we're gonna use Real Frenzy. Boom! Look at that crit, boy. Wow, 354 damage. Nice. Um, This is another one of those ones where it's like the critical thinking card, where I was talking about like the 10% seems like more like 4%. Um, but... Man. Damn tasty garlic. Removes all your debuffs. Shoot. I don't know which one. I think I'm going to try that one. I've only um, had that card once, and I, I didn't end up using it. Is that um is that a shield? I don't know what is better than what we have, so let's try it out. Um, we're going to go with Holy Band-Aid. I got greedy, but it didn't matter because <laughs> there was no little, um, the chest with the teeth on it. it does damage. Anyway, we're going to use, um, we're going to choose this one. Yeah. Extra, extra HP is nice. Okay, so we're going to go to the right door. Okay, that's that was the, uh, the wings of Icarus. Oh, you can see here's the angel's last wing. Yeah. Oh, Beals above his wing. No, okay. I didn't equip that Angel's last swing. Bummer. Okay. So, 7 times 3, 21 damage. Hmm. I'd like to save some money. Also kind of want to heal up. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and use that one. And then we're going to do on top of the worlds. And always like the power. Bummer. Bummer. Nothing. Man, what a waste. What a waste. I say it's a waste because there are no other attack cards here. That's it. Okay, we're looking at 21 damage again. Um, I, I need to play more conservative, conservatively when I'm playing against, um, you know, three guys. So we'll use that. And this one nice crit on all of them very good and that it'll take away a little bit from our shield but um that's okay i'm gonna go ahead and use this one add some shield we'll get two more uh, lame hand cards let's see what do we have 21 damage again not a lot to worry about here is there when he cast let's see one two Three, four, five. No. 57 damage. Shoot. Well, this guy's going to cast the shield. I'm just looking at efficiency of damage. So 57 damage, um, a lot would be wasted on this guy, especially if I cast... Power... Yeah, we're doing this. It's okay. We can waste a little bit of damage. I should have used that card first, though. And 17... 14, 15, 16... Wait, wait, wait. So, 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 4 is 18. We're taking this guy out. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to... Um, so, what we want, we want to use this card... We also want to get to proc that 50%, so I'm going to use this. God, look at those lame hands. 
Um, that's an offensive card, so we can use this one first. Just to get that one extra power, and then it doesn't really matter though, right? Because it's like way overkill, all that damage. Overkill? No such thing. Mm, this one's good. Yeah, we're getting that one. Two-hander, two-hander, one-hander, um, higher crit, lower attack. No thanks. A real sketchy guy approaches you from behind, screaming about God knows what. The guy pulls out a full brim... A full... I don't get... A sack, a full sack brimming with all manner of coin and says, <laughs> Who's pulling the strings? Who's the man behind the mirror? Why don't you wet my beak and I'll tell you. 20 gold or 5% health. Um, the armor that we get from these guys usually is, is, sucks. So we're going to lose 20 golds. I don't want to lose any health right now. Right door. We're at room 23. Then at the bottom, I didn't see it right there, but you can see how many more doors are between us and the boss. Top of the world. Yep. So 12 damage from that guy. Um, let's look at our options here. We have a good amount of mana. Hmm. I'm going to do Way of Cain. Power. Man. Ah. It's too tempting. Ah, bummer. Okay. That's all right. So what I was looking at here is we're going to have one mana left over, um, no matter how we play this. I want to kill this guy, though, because you can see right there the little tool tip that comes up. He does 70 damage. Um, if, if I let the timer count down. So there's that. And then we still have to worry about the shields. So I'm actually just going to... Hmm. I want to see what happens here. I want to see... So we have 12. Exactly the amount of damage that he should do. So it should all be blocked, right? I want to see if anything gets through. Yes. Like, it, like all of it? What? Is my math wrong? <laughs> Is that not 12? <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, so we don't have any debuffs. All, all of our stuff does um, double damage right now, though. No one has weakened. That's okay. This is going to do a heck of a lot of damage, boy. Okay. So I'm going to do something kind of weird here, but um, you'll see. Wow. That was just perfect timing. Well, the thing I was going to do that was weird was use this card, remove all my debuffs, even though I don't have any, but then it would uh, slot this offensive card right next to Crazy Jump, thereby proccing the 50% more damage. However, we don't need to because this one does more. I was kind of saving that. So 16, we've got 8. We have 14 damage here available to us. Um, well, shoot. We're going to use this and block hopefully all the damage that he's going to do and just... Sure wish I had that devil fart. Um, just to uh, give, give me something. Anything that does do damage. <laughs> Nam Nam's Jam is uh, is doing some wonders here. This is one of my favorite cards. Confidence Builder. I guess two colored hose. So one... You can always tell how close you are to the boss... Once you see the well, um, and then you just look down, it's one. This is our last door. Um, I think we're doing okay on health. Um, let's see. I think there's a card that's kind of been, like, nagging at me that I didn't like. Hmm. Not really. If anything, it would be the damn tasty garlic. But I think that, that that'll come in handy. That'll come in handy. Let's um, equip the things that I've totally forgotten to equip for a while now. There's the angel's last wing. I really like this duality here between the wings. Just, just making sure that I didn't miss anything. We're at 21 defense. We're at the second boss. I think we should be able to get to 30 by the final boss. 
It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Um, no cards to replace. Hmm. As much as I want to fight something, let's just let's go to the well. We'll heal up, even though again it's going to be over overkill because you can see right here it re replenishes thirty percent of your health. It's a lot. All right, boss number two. Love the music. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. On top of the worlds, he is going to do an evil aura. Whenever you play defense card, I get one power. Better use those defensive cards now then, huh? Um, we're going to use confidence builder. We have 10 out of 6 right now. Pretty sweet. And boop. Boop. And slash... Um, yeah, see that, um, that garlic card will really come in handy. Oh, no, it won't, because he gets power, not, not, a fragile on us. We're gonna use up to five. It's a drop in the bucket, man, but those drops add up. He's gonna put a card in our hand, a guard down card, or in our, in our deck. So, still no damage. We're gonna use this one. Uh. Uh. And... I don't think he does damage, but I'm still going to use the mana for that. And um, I kind of wish I got more offensive cards there because I used the Way of Cain, but that's okay. Right here, he's going to summon a minion. Still not doing direct damage to us. We'll use, let's see, three, four, five. Let's just draw cards right now and see what we can get. Power. Um... I'm looking at the how everything is going to add up. So three plus two is five. We have five left. I think that'll do nicely. Yeah. Okay, this is his minion that he that he summoned, the devil right here. Well, I'm trying to. The tool tip won't go away, but you can see the big devil next to me, right? He's going to hurt us. He's going to he's going to put another card and still not attacking us. That devil will only do. 10 damage. So we're going to take care of it with a die because the guard down is here so we can't play defensive cards. Um, and let's go... Yeah, we're going to use this extra one so that way we can absorb the damage from this card when I use it. But first, we'll get this. We gain one power. And right now, we're at 75% extra attack damage. 168. Nice crit. That was good timing right there. Okay, he's still not attacking us. I'm not complaining. It's just kind of surprising. So we need a shield here. We're going to need... Yeah. That's fine. When they do this and like they, they don't attack very much... See, three, four, five. How much do we have here? We don't have 377, that's for sure. But... Let's do this. I'm going to draw a card. Maggie. Oh, nope. Didn't get it. I was hoping for... I was hoping for a defensive card to play there. So we're going to play this one. Draw another card. Nope. We're just getting all these offensive cards. Bummer. We have four left. 87 damage. Yeah, we're going to use two slash. Boom. Boom. And we'll use up these dice. We're going to take... Take some pretty, pretty serious hits right here. Um, he has 99 left. We cannot play. Oh, man. Brutal. We can't play. Let's hope for a crit. Nope. Not going to do it. Wouldn't be prudent. This is brutal. Not working out very well. R right when we need it. Um, we don't get defensive cards. And um, we can't play him. So this is the end. But look how much. We took half, over half of our health in damage. Uh, pretty serious in that boss fight. That was that was really disappointing. That could affect the rest of the game, but um, the sacrifice. Absorb 80 damage. Draw two cards. Heal three HP, but disable all dice until the end of battle. No thanks. I'll deal 50 damage. <laughs> this is a good shield here. Oh, Azrael's last wing. Nope, we'll take that one. 
we do get that artifact. Cursed Prayer Beads. Max mana plus one. No longer get... We can use dice. Huh. Wow. I haven't seen that one yet. That's that's one thing I've really noticed about this game um, that I'm, I'm happy this came up because I can mention it is that there is a lot of variety in the game. And, um, you know, I've played this game quite a bit. And this is the first time that I've seen this. So it's interesting. It's between these two. This one's garbage. Hold, please. I gotta do some serious deliberating. Okay, I'm done thinking. We're gonna go with the giant anchor. Here's my reasoning. Okay, so max one mana is is nice. Don't get me wrong. That's really tempting. But not being able to use dice, I feel like um, it's a pretty integral part of the gameplay. Even though they're random and it doesn't always um, work out, um, I feel like I use them often enough that I would miss them greatly if um, if they weren't there. Then on top of that, the one mana... Um, like what what would I play with that probably a power card something like that to increase my damage And so if I can start off with five power and maybe just throw in a bunch of attacks while the enemies are preparing um, You know all their buffs and everything um, Then I think that would probably would work out pretty well. So we'll see what this does. We're in the last area now sanctuary I wish we had the insane difficulty. I've only beaten it once on insane. It is nuts uh, We have a lot of money here. We're gonna go for the merchant not a lot of money, but it's it's a good amount, right? Um, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> favorite card is my favorite card. Uh, we're definitely going to pick up Easy Slash and Quick Draw, though, um, while we're here. I don't want to run out of money and uh, forget to buy those. They're very good. So let's go to our deck. Oh, let's just check this out real quick. Favorite card. Pick a card from your deck that you will start with every battle. So let's go to our deck and see if there's one that we would want. I wish I had Divine Heal. Um, I'm not sure why it's not coming up. But it's not. Um, definitely on top of the world. That's the one. That's the one. Money. And, yeah, right here. Start that off real strong. Between that one, we'll get extra cards. Um, we'll get extra mana. And the five extra power from that giant anchor. I think that'll be a pretty good, like, Kickstarter to any combat. Oh, okay. Uh, what else can we get here? Uh, I don't think we need anything else. Oh, and so here's something. Um, this Ultra Ultra Maestro's jacket. I'm pretty sure this is one from the Crystal Shop. So I bought this. Um, and that's the, the thing at the very beginning of this, this video. Um, where we were just starting out and I was showing off like the, the leveling system. So I bought this item. And now it's available to... It's available in the game, right? It's, it's another um, thing you can get. And it's good. It's good. But, um... I'm looking at these, actually. Let's see here. So. Yeah. The real man's trousers. Come over here and do the inventory before I forget and equip it. Look at that booty. Computer the shield. Wings of Eternity. I don't even remember getting that one. <laughs> that must have been a while ago and I just forgot to equip it. I wonder if it would have helped in that last boss fight. Let's check out our defense. So we're at 23 now. We're just starting Sanctuary. That's good. That's good. I'm really missing the Divine Heal, though. I'll tell you what. That one, it's uh, zero cost. It's consumed, and it heals 12. Okay, so now we have 8 mana. Good. Um, we have 5 power. Oh... Okay, so bug report. <laughs> it's not five power. Uh, maybe I misunderstood it. It's one power for five turns is what it looks like. Brutal. That's okay. I don't think it would have um, changed my mind. So the enemy's going to cast a shield of 25. We're going to... Hack and slash. Boom. And boom. Oh. Oh. Seven turns. I don't know what's going on there with the power. We're going to deal one damage to ourselves. Let's go like this. For this one. Really stick it to him on that first turn, huh? Okay, again, they're just going to shield up. So, um, let's do Lightning God. <laughs> Vaporized. 
There's that there's that band-aid, the five X five HP, it adds up. Always quick draw. It's so good. It's so good. Two-hander, not gonna do it. Uh, these ones don't have an increase to defense, so we're not gonna do those either. We'll just move along. Middle room. Definitely restore. Man. The random card, it has more 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 likelihood of being garbage than being something really good, right? Because I mean, if a card is rare, then there aren't that many of them compared to the ordinary. That's just the way it works. Um, 1 to 100 gold. Don't really need that. I think we're pretty well set up. So I need I need the HP, though. Right door. There's that awesome music. Just weird. I, I dig it. I like weird stuff. Especially when um, it's good and weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, so we're going to cast power right here. We're looking at 24 damage right now. We will definitely definitely need to shield up for that. Um, 20. I'm going to use all the dice. All the dice. 30, 30 shield right here because I don't know if it's going to bleed through or what. But we have five mana left over. So um, let's use this one and get a card. Oh, yeah, there we go. Meaty. Right here. I'm not going to use Way of Cain. It's tempting, but um, I think we can do pretty good just like this. Maybe you just get a crit right here. Please crit. crit. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's all right. We'll get an AoE card or a multiple target card. Um, yeah, power. And what are we looking at? 12, 24 damage again. Power. Draw some more cards. There it is. So now we're only looking at 12 damage, right? And we can use our die up here. Here's what I'm talking about. Um, boop. So this guy died. There's uh, 12 damage taken away that will be that would have been dealt to us. So he's going to do six times two, and there's 12 right there. Hopefully that's enough to to cover it. I'm not sure if anything will bleed through. But we have five mana left. How much health? He's got 90, 94, um, 17. Yeah, so that's good enough. Cool. Totally overthought that. I could have just gone full full out and just done everything. All the damage stuff, and it would have worked just fine. Again, the quick draw. It's zero cost, and then you get more cards. Like, how, how would that ever be a problem in your hand? <laughs> you know what I mean? We're going to get the Legionnaire Plate because it's an increase to defense, and we're just going to open up all the chests. Ooh. Sometimes greed pays off. Hmm. Not a big fan not a big fan of that one. Everything in the merchant costs 20% less. I'm not sure if we're going to see another merchant. I'm not going to bet on it, so we're going with this. We have enough card drawing that we didn't need that middle one. That's why I ignored it. Okay, nice. There's the Wings of Icarus kicking in. 20 damage. Everyone's face immediately. Um, on top of the world, there's a reason we... <laughs> We had that one first. Now we have eight mana. We're set up here pretty well for this turn. This is my uh, another one of my favorite cards. Easy Slash. Um, it's just free damage. Let's do uh, this. We'll draw a card. Okay, good. So we're looking at some, some good damage numbers over there. We're going to use Wish List. So now we're at 45. That'll cover everything. And... I'm not seeing anything that's going to give us power. That's usually what I look for. I look for things that will give me power, and then I'll try to use those first. So that way, any subsequent attacks will um, be benefited by that extra power. So I'm just going to use that because, oh, nice crit, because I know we'll, we'll need it. We still have seven mana. 27 damage times five. That's pretty good. But we're going to split up the damage here a little bit. I don't want to waste it on him. Um, three mana left. Wave King. Oh, still took four damage. That's okay. Oh, look at all this. Look at all these power cards. What can we do here? 101 damage. We can take two of these guys out. We're doing it. We're doing it. Power, power. Power. Icicle Storm. Kill two of them. Uh, we have uh, the... This kicked in. Nam Nam's jam. So we got extra mana. And uh, <laughs> a little overkill, but no such thing, right? 354 crit beauty. 
beauty. Ooh, yeah, mom's meatloaf. That's really good. But this one, it'll it'll bring so you know brings like all my favorite cards that cost nothing. But it also, hmm, it'll also bring in cards like um, guard down, poop ball. Yes, that's a card. And um, there's another one, Intimidated, that the last boss has. And so it'll bring all those cards in and could mess some things up. But we're going to do it anyway. Let's get... Um... Let's get the blue heater shield. Go to our inventory, equip the things that we need to. Boop. And boop. Oh, bummer. Look at that. We lost 5 HP. Well, it adds up, but uh, we're at 25 defense. Re looking real good for that last boss fight. <laughs> look, look over here. I love, I just love the weird artwork in this game so much. And I've seen this like a dozen times, but I still laugh. Uh, so here's, um, I live backwards. I don't have to sleep. It's like laws of nature don't apply to me. Anyway, enough about me. I'm starting a small <laughs> calling card business. It's the future. You see my hands are in, are in are in the air. It signifies I'm a trustworthy guy. Do you trust this person and invest your money? So this is the kind of thing, like attention to detail a little bit in the artwork, like the picture of the random encounters. And, um, and you can kind of figure out like the right answer. Don't trust his lies. Oh, wait, try to leave? Can we fight him? Oh, come on. Dang it. I wanted to fight him. I've never fought him before. I'm not, li I'm not liking our, our HP situation right now. This is going to be a tough fight. These guys, um, they're, they're like, uh, clerics, I guess. They're like evil, insane clerics. They heal a lot. On top of the world. And 10. We're looking at uh, six or 26 damage here. That's significant. So we'll do that. We'll deal some damage. Use power first. Deal some damage. Draw a card. We're at 40. We're fine. We're fine right there on the protection. Lightning God. 31 times 5. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Even especially if we crit one, right? Let's draw some cards and... No, we'll save that. We're just going to use it on him. Oh, come on. Give it to me. Oh, shoot. So there's eight. We can get him. Boop. Nam Nam's jam kicks in. Um. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's see what we can get here. Slash or power. Slash or power. Let's set ourselves up. Just looking at the damage, uh, looking at 16 again. So here's the meatloaf card. Who doesn't love uh, some good um, free cards, right? And then we're going to use um, this one. And we're going to summon the free cards again. And slash. Boom. Draw some cards. Um, play power. Always like to play power if I can. Here's another power card. May as well. Nice crit. Nice crit. Um, we're going to draw some more cards. Confidence builder. Um, yeah, another one. This is just free, free power card, kind of, right? We'll do fire wave, draw another card. And then we only have two mana left. Shoot. I kind of wanted to use this one. That's okay. We have enough shields. Um, we're doing pretty good here. Looking good. It's a six, but these guys heal up. Why he's increasing hit his max HP by fifty? We'll use it. Nice. I like this. I like this. And there she be. Another one down. We had uh, the, the Nam Nam's Jam came in, but didn't really need it. Let's see. Icicle Shower sure is good. 97 damage. Yeah. And then 2, 93 damage, 105 damage. Take one damage. Yeah, um, yeah we're just going to do it. We're going to use this one. 
One mana left. Um, wasted. It's okay. Oh, and in case you didn't notice, like they heal. That's like I was saying. Like they're clerics. Uh, we're in. We're in like some kind of horrible, insane church, and um, they have censers, and they're clerics. Like demon clerics. I don't know. You get what I'm saying, right? We want to protect here, so I'm gonna cast that. He's doing 19 damage. Hopefully, that'll cover it. I don't see any artifacts that give us extra absorb. I don't think we picked one up, and we'll use this. So good. Look at that. Oh, okay. So two. He's got 66 life yet uh, left. I don't think that we will need Way of Cain. Um, oh, no, never mind. I'll stop talking. He's dead. <laughs> that old 5 HP from the magical band-aid. Um, yeah, no thanks. I think we're, we're doing okay on the card. On the card situation. Let's equip any items that we need to. I think it's just the one. We're gonna double check though. And all I'm doing is looking at this first column. If it's an upgrade, I equip it. If it's not, I don't. I don't care about the the right column. 25 defense. Um, we have six six doors to go. And I hope we can heal. I I think we'll just have to wait until the end. Right before the boss, it'll give us an opportunity to uh, heal up. So let's go like the. No, let's wait. Let's just draw some cards. Let's get ourselves set up and see what this turn's gonna pan out to be. We do want power. Um, again, we want power. And we'll draw some more cards. Um, we're good on protection. Let's see here. I'm gonna do yeah, icicle shower. Good, good, good. Eat loaf, easy slash. Um, confidence builder. Ooh, I don't know why, but it's, we do have this. Sixty-one damage. What can we get here? Um, ten, twelve, twenty-four. Yup. And. We'll slash. I'm not sure what the maximum amount of cards you can have right here is. We're going to draw two more. I don't know if they'll fit. So that's why I'm going to use slash right now and so instead of waiting to see what I draw in case I drew a power card. So that that's I'm just explaining my order of operations there. And I realize I've been talking a lot throughout this entire video. And at the beginning, I said it wasn't going to. Okay, so 53 health left. Let's just um, let's end it here. Okay, nice. Crit. See what I mean? That 5 HP, it adds up. Um, yeah, quick draw. It's just, it's so handy. And then with Mom's Meatloaf, you can get it back. And you can see how you just cycle through, like, your entire draw pile um, pretty easily. And you can extend your turn. You get extra mana. I mean, like, yeah, you just do massive damage in a single turn. It's really good. Sometimes it doesn't line up, though, and you get not what you want. 26 defense. Looking good. Middle door. Five rooms left. Okay. So, again, um, on top of the world. Okay. And so we're covered. Well, no, 17 damage. So we should be covered, if I understand it correctly. We use power. We use fire wave. Get another card. So look at all these. We can just draw so many cards. Oh, you want some free damage? Okay. Um, yeah, on that dude, and then draw some cards. Give me the frenzy. Yeah, looks good. Increase that power. We have three mana left. Um. We're gonna draw more cards. There it is, confidence builder, good deal. So now we're gonna do icicle shower. Get that one guy, that was that was an awesome crit. That was really good. Um, quick draw again, power. 
Um, let's see, we have 76 damage at our disposal right here. We have two sixes rolled. Well, I'll take a crit, no problem. <laughs> oh, man. This is good. I draw some more cards because we can. And let's see, 67. Yeah, we got it right here. Boop. Nice. Confidence builder. Just love it. Okay. Uh, Two-hander. Nope, thanks. Uh, lower defense. Nope, thanks. A little bit of boost in HP. We'll take that. This one, yep. The silly looter's pants. Hang on one second here. Okay, always go for the elite door. Even though, you know, we're four bosses or four doors away from the boss, it's kind of like crunch time. Um, I could I could still use another artifact. I wonder how many there are in the game. <laughs> uh, on top of the world. Yes, yes. Power. Yep. Um, we're going to do this one to give us power. This one to give us another card. And we will draw some more cards. And Mom's Meatloaf. So that way we can draw even more cards. We use this one. He's not even going to do damage to us this turn. So we will use this. Draw some more cards. Man. How many how many cards can we get? I think that looked like we only got one right there, right? Um, this one's good. Boom. Uh-huh. And let's save that one. We'll just use slash. Let's not be greedy. Yeah, that's it. That's good. I'm happy with that. Weakness. Oh, and so if you didn't, like, really notice that mechanic, the bad guys, they put cards into your draw pile, you draw them, and they affect the cards in your hand. So, like, guard down means you can't play any defensive cards. Um, intimidate means you can't play any offensive cards. And the weakness one, I, I don't know. I think that um, reduces your mana by one, but we'll see. We'll see when we draw it. He's not going to do any damage again this turn, so we're going to use power. And this will work out nicely. Um... Offensive, do a little bit, and then next turn we're setting ourselves up, boy. Look at this, we have 75% extra attack. I have a feeling that next turn he will attack, though, and we'll have to use some mana. Yep, look at that. We'll have to use some mana for... Okay, that's fine. For defense. But we don't have any defensive cards. This is not the time. Not the time. This is really going to... Oh, holy cow. That is not good. That's a lot of damage. And we can only block about half of it. <sighs> okay. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, Way of Kane. You have shown me the light. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, I was worried. I was worried. I honestly was. Um, but here's the Divine Heal card that I talk about. I dig it. We're going to get it. Ooh, and look at this. Look at this. For our daring escapades, we get rewarded handsomely. I want to go for the devilish pants, or the hellish pants. Be stylish. Pale King's War Mask. I'm guessing that these are both just a one, one defense upgrades to what we had. I think if we get enough card drawing. Yeah, we're just going to go for the ordinary one. Add uh, five defense at the end of every single turn. Let's go to our inventory, and we will... Oh, it's a two. Look at that two defense uh, buff. We're at 28 now. Looking good. Looking good. Middle door, as as always, as promised. Okay, um, so no one's doing any damage this turn. That's great. That works out well. Thanks, guys. Um, power. Yep. Power. And who has the least amount of health? Um, the little tombstone. So, boop. Crit. Good. 35 times 5. Yeah dead and then we will use the six on him because that's kind of like company policy okay so still no damage um, we're going to draw some cards see if we can get some more power we don't we'll use this and hopefully we can get um, an offensive card to come in right here next to crazy jump yep there it is nice uh, we will use this one, see if we can get some... Okay, good. 
Yeah, that's good. I like this. I like this setup. Boom. Okay, and then mom's meatloaf. Mom, get the meatloaf. Okay. We only have one mono left. I do want to use a quick draw, but we're going to refrain. Show a little discipline. And the turn. So we're looking at 10 damage to us this turn. Ooh, I like what I'm seeing here. This is good. 70 damage. So we have 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, I like it. And these are both power. So this one's going to do 70 plus 80. Yeah, we're going to go up here and kill him. We may have two turns left on him. That's why. And, well, yeah. And so we're going to get five shields from this or five absorb. We're looking at 10 damage, so I'll just throw on um, a little bit more here. That should do it. Again, he's doing little damage, and I think it's because of all the defense that we have. Draw some cards, get some better options here. Um, yep, I dig it. Get another one. Confidence builder. So now we have seven, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Ooh, wait. 80 damage. No, I'm not going to be able to do it unless we crit. Let's see if we get it. <laughs> nice. Oh, awesome. I love when things work out like that. Don't you? This one's a really good card. Shoe hate, 50 damage, draw two cards. Yeah, good. Here's another blue heater shield. It's an upgrade. Can't complain. Okay, we're at 29 defense. Yes, sir. Uh, right door. They're both elite, so it doesn't matter, but we'll just default to what the, what the plan was. Oh, this guy again, huh? Hmm. I'm, I'm sighing. I kind of wanted a defensive card, but that's fine. We do have 20, 20 shields, so that's fine. Okay. And so I would like to do... Yes, we're going to do this. So here, and then here, and here, and here. Bzz, nice. So good. 37 damage. Well, howdy doody. Let's draw some cards. <laughs> can we draw? <laughs> I wonder how many how many cards we can just draw infinitely. Oh, shoot. I should have done this one first. We have six mana left. Okay. We, oh, we are not fine on, on shields here. And so I'm going to use the true hate, which means that we will lose all dice. So we're just going to go ahead and boop, 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 boop. Go like this. That one first, because it allows us to draw a card. Um, no, it's fine. We'll do this. Took one damage there. Glad I had some extra shields. So no damage incoming. Power. Quick draw. Okay. Yes, yes. Draw another card just to see what we get. Um, Mom's Meatloaf for those freebies. Let me use uh, Easy Slash. Quick Draw. We have four mana left. Let's see here. What? No, we don't. We have a lot more than that. <laughs> we have six. Hello, your turn just started, and you have more cards than you should. Love it. Okay. Um, that one's the, the combo, like the, the Slash. The basic attack right here, plus the power card. We'll do this to draw one. He's not doing any damage to us this turn. I'm going to end it right here. We're going to go like that. Use the six. Way of Cain for next turn. Set ourselves up. Maybe, maybe be able to kill him. Um, I, yes, I think we will be able to do it because of this. If we get crits. Yep, there she is. Cool. And so we don't have to worry about protection anymore. Oh, look at that. Don't you love it when things work out so well? 
I love this game. This is my favorite game. I, I mean, I'm not afraid to say that and make it known. Scream it from the rooftops. Yeah. We do that one. Um, well, that's good. That's good. Pick an artifact. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> just increase our drawing power. So here's the heal. Uh, we started coming back there, and so this heal will uh, top us off, and then some a little, just a little bit more. Nice. And we just hit over 31. Perfect. Right before the final boss. This is it. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'll be. I'm gonna be crushed if this doesn't work out, and um, well, and I fail. <laughs> Room 40, final boss. This is on big boy difficulty. It's. Oh, I like that he's casting that right away. Um, here, this would it. Upon getting hit, changes intention. So if he's gonna try to attack me for like 75 damage, I can hit him once, and then it might change it to uh, like 33 damage instead. Big difference. It helps out a lot. Um, but this is big boy difficulty. I've only beaten this one once on insane, and that wasn't an option in this playthrough. Okay. I kind of want to make this first one count. Draw some cards, see what else we can get here. Don't need divine power right now. We're going to use this. This one. Yep. Um, 39 times 5 is good. Nice. Two crits in there. Then 76 or 59. And this, the 50% the won't proc. So we're going for this. We have 20 shield. Not expecting any incoming damage. So that works out well. And then we'll go ahead and... Um, that's... That's the one I wanted right there. And we're going to leave all the dice up here, even though it's against company policy. Got to play a little bit more conservatively here. So he's going to do 77 damage. And this is where the Holy Grail comes in. Okay, what we want here is... I want to draw a card. Okay, so he's doing 2 times 3 damage. But we have 5 mana left. You can see his intention changed back. And I'm kind of gambling here. I'm playing with the devil. I don't want that. We're going to have to take it. So what I'm looking at here, I have one mana. I can play this one final attack card. But it might change his intentions away from this um, into like 76 damage. That's that's a lot of life. And so right here, I just kind of have to, have to be patient. Bide my time. So two times three, man. I think we have a little bit of wiggle room here. There's two times three again. I want to use this. 122 damage. Two cards, lose all dice. I'm afraid of losing all dice. That's okay, we're going to do it. When I said, oh, shoot, there it is. <laughs> there it is, 77 damage. I got greedy. I should have known better. I got greedy. It's all right. We got some power. That's what I was talking about with the wiggle room. And, yeah, I'm happy with this. That's okay. We're doing pretty well here. 77 damage. And intimidation. So this means we cannot draw. We can't play any offensive cards. Which is really a bummer right now. That means that we can't change his intention. We could try the six, couldn't we? So I'm going to trade off. Nice. Nice. That worked out really well. So I traded off. I was going to do uh, use the six for damage or shield. No, I was going to use it for shield. Um, but that was a really good trade off right there. So, again, unfortunately, we can't play any of the cards that I want to. So we'll just play protection and bite our time. 77 damage pops up again. Let's see. I'm looking at the mana to see. Our 
power. Right now we have a 75 attack power. We're going to add on to that. Try easy slash. See if we can change it. We sure can. And then... I think we still have wiggle room. I'm going to get greedy here. Yep, 77. We're going to do this. And this. Two times three. I'll take it. Stop there, right? Quit while you're ahead. Holy cow. We don't need divine heal. We haven't taken any damage yet. So definitely a power card. We can draw more. So we're going to use a slash. Um, we're trying to change his intentions here. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. So, hmm. I'm going to try this. Yes, there it is. There it is. So, uh, changed it to six. And that's like, that's the big mechanic here is like, the question is, um, how patient are you? I do want to keep the power up. So I'm going to do this and then use the dice for shielding. Although, I, you know, it would have been smarter, I think, to probably just take that damage, suck it up. And keep the dice um, to use for hits whenever an Intimidation card comes in. So that'll be the, the plan from here on out. Let's see. Draw more cards. Always draw more cards. Okay, we got Intimidation. Brutal. So now we use our dice, try to change it. Nice. So two times three. Um, but what can we use? What can we use? What can we use? Nothing. Seventy-seven damage again. Oh shoot! So I'm looking at the power cost of our attack cards. One is zero, one is one. So we can cast the power cards right now, and we use this to draw a card. Trying to change his intention here. Um, not looking good so far. Come on. Okay, there it is. Yep, there it is. We'll cast protection again. This is. This fight does require a lot of patience on my part. You know, like. From me as a person. <laughs> and so 77 damage. Let's see. Ninety-three. One twenty-six. Yeah, we're doing that one. At this point, I think the extra little bit's going to help. Nice, huge crit, and it changed his intentions. That is uh, super sweet, as they say in the biz. I don't know what biz. Okay. Okay. We're not going to cast power because we have six mana. We have three cards that each require two that are all attacks. I'm just trying to change his intention here. Once his intention is changed. No, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We can I think we got it from here, honestly. Wish list. <laughs> Where's my devil fart? Okay. Um last one. Boom. There she is. So that's the entire playthrough. I kinda wanted to show this. Instead of a bunch of fragmented videos, just in case anyone was interested in saying. Plus, again, it's my favorite game, and I really enjoy playing it. Um, adding the commentary and stuff, it does add a challenge for me, but it, um, it, it adds a lot of enthusiasm and energy. It keeps me all, all hyped up on it. So, this game is called Doors of Insanity. Um, let's check out the kind of like end sequence, or like how the level up works, okay? Um, these aren't going to matter right now, but I'm going to take Divine Heal. And, ooh, look at that black hell leather jacket. Get an artifact too. Nightmare fuel. I haven't seen this one before. Every turn heal one HP. That's all. Um, that's bad. Not into it. This one is um, man, it just seems so good. But you, it's reduction of max mana. I don't like any of them. I don't want to start with any of those. Not that we can, but just not into it. So. 
Um, here is the Purgatory card. So this is like the transition between the end of a game and the beginning of a new one. So you get to choose which one you want. On top of the world was really treating me well. So uh, I'm going to keep that one. Let's just pause for a minute and hear the organ music. Dig it. Okay, go on to the main menu. And again, I'm just showing the, like, the transitional sequence. So we got a new... Okay, here it is. Customized. We got a new face. Oh. Did we get a new face? No, we're going to choose Horrible Bull Cut. And then we're going to go... Um, no. We're going to go for Powder. Black hair. And then come down here and go to New Game. And then this is... Um, this is the really cool part of the game that, like, to me, it adds a lot of replayability. Um, so we have 1,175 crystals to spend. And so we'll spend it on something here or some things in the shop. And these become available to us in the game um, as prizes. So if you'll notice, you, we didn't see any of these items in the game. This one's pretty, pretty gosh dang good, isn't it? Okay. That's um, a little over 1,200 there, isn't it, between these two? That's fine. Future Lord's Armor, good to go. Um, danger fits me, good to go. I like that. Big health bonus. Character Grower, I don't think we gained anything. No, we did not. There's a notification that comes up um, when you're playing the game that you leveled up. So, I'm the same that I was. You see right here, 10.9. I bet you before the first boss in the next playthrough, I will be leveled up. And then we're back to where we started. So, um, again, this is a, a complete look at uh, Doors of Insanity. And also a little plug for GameRound.co. Check this all out if this seems interesting to you. I hope it does. I love it. <laughs> great community, great game. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. This is my longest video ever. We'll see you in the next one.